Hello lovelies, I hope that you love Psychology by Fongma as much as we did. We are really, really pleased with our predictions, or how our predictions went. Now, since there are only two of the three papers left, our boot camp is now two thirds of the price of Miss Flinku. All of the papers, three live revision sessions over half term, all of the papers, well, we don't need to paper one, so paper two and paper three, and the walks for these paper three, including all of the options. Now we know for paper two, psychology and context, there are three sections in this paper, approaches in psychology, biopsychology, and as always, research methods. We're gonna go through each of these topics in this video, or remembering that research methods is 50% of this paper. So you can use the timestamps to jump to the bit that you're interested in, or just sit back and listen. Now, for approaches in psychology, and apologies for getting any of these names wrong, we'd like to look at fun and in introspection, have a comprehensive understanding, of how we use the method of inspection as a pioneer of scientific study of psychology. Be able to discuss the strengths and limitations of the Wimp's work, recognising that while it laid the ground for psychology and science, some of his methods were subjective and wouldn't meet modern scientific standards. We'd like you to look at the difference between cognitive psychology and cognitive neuroscience. So make sure you can differentiate between cognitive psychology and cognitive neuroscience. My hair. How cognitive psychology focuses on the understanding of processes like perception and memory through behavioural observations and experiments. However, cognitive neuroscience explores these processes by investigating the underlying neural mechanisms using techniques like brain imaging. Psychological approaches paying particular attention to biological, psychodynamic and humanistic approaches understanding their core principles and assessing their effectiveness in explaining human behaviour. You should also make sure that you consider similarities and differences between these approaches where you can be asked questions to compare them. Thinking about biopsychology, we'd like you to look at the nervous and endocrine systems. So familiarise yourself with the structure and functions of the nervous and endocrine systems. Understand how they interact with the fight or flight response. Looking at synaptic transmission, learn all about the process of synaptic transmission, including the role of neurotransmitters, excitation and inhibition. The localization of brain function. Understand how different brain areas are responsible for various tasks, including motor, somatosensory, visual and auditory functions. Be prepared to revise Brocken, Vecchi's these areas and their roles in language, and be ready to evaluate their theory of localization versus holistic brain organization. Post-mortem examination, so as a method of studying brain damage and understanding how they are used to investigate brain structure, function and evaluate their strengths and limitations. Why I'm fascinated by circadian rhythm. So focus on research investigating circadian rhythms, including isolation studies, like Shreve's cave study. Understand that the role of internal pacemakers and external zeit bearers uh, can and be prepared to discuss and evaluate the topics in this extended extended response question. So please, this is 50% of the paper, embrace research methods across all papers, but recognise research methods can come across in all three exams, not just in paper two. So while paper two is where you find the main section of research methods, it's critical to understand that research methodology can and is examined across the entire course. So be prepared to encounter research scenarios in various contexts, familiarise yourself with examples of research and identify key elements such as aims, hypotheses, variables, control measures, sample used and data collected. Exposure to different research scenarios will better prepare you for the new piece of research you'll face in this section. Use resources such as our predictive papers or walkthroughs to strengthen your understanding and applications of research methods. Good luck, and we're here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like explain scratches. <laughs>